Nana here. <clears throat> so in this video, I'm going to teach you about how to increase the longevity of a vision instance. Sometimes what happens if you're lucky, you can very well, uh, what happens, uh, improve the longevity of the vision instance. Right? I'll now go there and then show it to you. Say, for example, you're working on one of the instances. <clears throat> so now here, uh, when Oracle, uh, sometimes what happens, uh, they will not clone the instance actually. They will only reset all the passwords of all the users actually. So at the time, what, what you can do is, uh, you can uh, go to my website actually. It's uh, Nana's Passwords. So there, whatever the Nana's Passwords group, if you go there, the Telegram group actually. So if you click on the top, there is a pinned message. You click on the pinned message. So you'll now find plenty of users available here actually in the pending message. So normally we will be using the SCM users or the PRC users, not fine. So leave those things and then uh, take up some Ajib users like FAS, FAS is finance. So FAS is zero zero uh, dot student, FAS is zero one dot student up to FAS 40 dot student, there are 40 users that are there in fin. So let us not take up one of them and then we will now reset the passwords of them. So let us now go there. I will now go to the tools and then I go to the security console. I go there to the security console. So I will now go to the users and let us now take FAS 16. Okay. Uh, FAS 16. No query. It is the FAS 16 dot score. Click on it. So here, what I'm going to do is I will now change the email to my mail. Okay. So that way, what happens? You go there and click on it. And then I click on what edit now. Fine. I'm not going to change it. Fine. Nana dot app sixty at the rate gmail dot com. So I now changed it to my mail. Give a seven close. Now what I do is I'll now go there. Click on seven close. It is now done. So FA sixteen is now having my mail. So now uh, when I give a forgot password. It will be sending a link, a password reset link will be sent to my email ID actually. So that way, whatever I can very well reset it. So whenever Oracle uh, does the password resets, now fine, click on they they change the in mass, they will not change it now. Fine, click on down. I will not log out now. Fine, log out. And then here, what I will do is I will not give a uh, what's called the forgot password actually. So I'm signing it out of this instance actually. But if they have cloned, then you can't do anything about it because each and everything, even the email ID is getting cloned actually. So that will also be getting changed. And so you will not be able to do anything. But if they do only a change of the passwords, so this is one way what I was of restoring it now. I did it in two or three instances. It was working actually for me. It, it was even working for more than two, three months actually. Afterwards only they cloned it. So till they clone, what happens is we can at least use this feature actually. And click on confirm now. And then go there. I will not give a forgot password. <laughs> I will now say it's what it is a FAS 16 dot student. FAS 16 dot student. I will not forget password. I will not click on submit. So once when I submit, what happens? I will be getting an email here. Password reset link will be. <clears throat> so the password link will be coming. So I'll now wait for it to come now. So once when I do it, what happens? It will be sending a password reset link actually. Forgot password does not go on there. So we we'll wait for some time actually. Sometimes all of it will be taking a longer time now. <laughs> well, again, go there and then have a look at it because it's not coming actually. Fine. I made I made some mistake actually. So now go there, click on sign in now. <clears throat> if a 16 is the one. So let me go and then make a verification of what I did now. <laughs> because this is this, it has to come by this time, actually. <clears throat> now go there. So let us now go to the tools. Again, make a verification. Oops. And then I go to the security console. Let me go to the FAS 16. Users. It is FAS 16. No, not app 60 at gmail.com. The mail is okay. No, not app 60 at gmail.com. Click on it. Is there any extra spaces there or not? I'll just make a check by editing now. I click on it. So let me delete them and do it now. Nana dot app sixteen under it gmail dot com. Some characters might have gone in actually. If a sixteen is the one, right? So give a tab now, right? Give a tab. The save and close has to come now. Thank you. I'll not click on somewhere else. The save and close has to come now, right? Give a tab. 
FA16.student. The same and close has to come. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to click on the add rules. Uh, because I have not made any change. That's why it's not coming, actually. Right. I will not say PRC. So uh, it looks like there's no change at all. Can click on add rules. Now a change has been made. No? So that the mail seems to be same now. I click on save and close. I added one role actually here. So click on done now. And then I will again give a logout. Now I click on logout, sign out, and then I will again give a sign in. If a 16 not sure, I click on confirm. Forgot password. Probably I might have given some mistake over here. Now find whether this is a 16 dot student. I might have made some mistake here. Now I click on forgot password. So click on submit. So once when you submit it, I must get what happens a mail. This place a mail has to come to me. Indicating that what was the reset password reset information has to come. See, it has come. I might have made some mistake there. Fine, go there. So, yeah, this thing has come. <laughs> Fine, the, is a password is it? You can even put it on one of the favorites actually. Now, uh, once when they have now what was a done a complete clone, no, I not a, what was it? They have now reset all the passwords actually. In such cases, whatever they can go there and click on it. You will now click on the link for resetting the password. Right? This is for the FA 16. Fine, click on it. It is a user specific, and so I will now give a new password actually. So I'm now giving a new password and then click on submit for FA16. The confirm password is not correct. Not really. So if you make a mistake also, what happens? It won't work at all. So the password and confirm password must match actually. Then only it will accept. Now it has been reset actually. Now what I do is uh, because the existing will not be working actually. I go there. I'll now put FA16 dot student and then I will now put that. Resetted password. So by which what happens? We can very well enter into the instance actually. You know, enter into the instance. Then afterwards, you can change whichever password you want. You can make a change in the way. So this is one extra excellent ability because in some instances, what happens? They only reset all the users' passwords. So once when you are given a forgot password and then you already got a link for resetting it, so that will be of a great use to you. I hope that this is of a use to you. Try to use it and then we'll not see. I am now selling my classroom records at oraclenana.com slash INBPO. I will again repeat oraclenana.com slash INBPO. So that is, the, that is my sales page actually. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, uh, you can even reach me, reach out to me at 9848-67924. And then I frequently conduct some training. So as of now, one inventory is going on, inventory and PDH is going on. So likewise, I will be frequently announcing it in my YouTube channel, Anantanana. So there you go there and then watch it. Right? So bye for now.